Hey everyone, it's Aurora. So, I really wanted to film this video on my camera, but I accidentally left my camera on, so it's dead. <laughs> and the silly thing about these Canon cameras are you cannot charge them while you're using them. You have to plug them into the wall and let them charge on their own. It really kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm still going to get the same information out there. So, I'm a day late, uh, but yesterday, December 12th, was my one month on hormone mark already. I cannot believe that, honestly. Time just flies. I cannot believe it's already been a month. But, um, but, but so it is. So, I wrote down a few things on my phone here, and I'm going to talk about the changes that I've been noticing um, while being on hormones for one month. Now, just a reminder, I am on two, yeah, two milligrams of estradiol and 100 milligrams of spironolactone, and I'm taking them in the form of uh, tablets or pills. So here's the stuff that have changed in one month. So I have noticed the number one thing, breast pain. That is real. That is legitimate. My my boobs hurt a lot. Mostly my my nipples really, really hurt. They're always really, this is kind of gross, but they're always hard. And if I do that, oh my God, like if I even touch them a little bit, it hurts so much. Like I can't carry books like this. I can't even wear heavy sweaters because they are just so, so sensitive and so, so, so tender, but a really, like, around the nipple area, not so much, but I still, I have noticed a little bit of breast development. You watching this will not notice any breast development, but still, looking at myself in the mirror, I do notice a little bit of change. My nipples point more outward, and they're a little bit fattier. I guess that's the boob part growing, but they're a little bit more like cushiony. So I guess they're going growing a little bit, but I really won't notice any significant changes in breast growth for a little while. Okay, the second thing is um uh this is okay, this is something I saw someone talk about this in their hormone update video and I totally like agreed with it. Um being more thirsty, like I have been so, so thirsty, not just like I'm a thirsty hoe, but like I just need so much water all the time. Like I'm always thirsty. Like I wake up and I'll be like, I need water. So yeah, I just have to keep myself hydrated and drink a lot of water. Also, I've been a little bit more tired. Um, I'll be like almost falling asleep in class and I'll be like, oh, why am I so tired? But I think it's because of the hormones. It might just be because I'm like I'm so bad at sleeping. I always wake up in the middle of the night, but whatever. Uh, the other thing, uh, uh, I feel like I do have a clearer mind. I'm, I think more rationally, and I just problem solve better. I talk to people better, and I think I'm just not clouded with so much testosterone. I can think more clearly. Um, more emotions. I'm definitely more emotional. I will have mood swings also, like where I have a really, really low and a really, really high. Um, they come more strongly and yeah, emotions are definitely at a peak at some times. Um, and I, fe I feel more like myself ultimately. I feel like I can express myself easier and be more like myself and it's really wonderful. Um, also, okay, here's a very big change, smoother skin. My face is very, very smooth, and I don't think it's from the laser hair treatments at all. It's, and I've only had one treatment so far. I really do think the hormones are helping my skin smooth out. My skin feels cushionier. My pores are smaller, um, except around here. Um, my, my face just seems more like cushiony, if that makes sense, softer, and it's turning less like, it's not really like that anymore. Like, my face used to just be like, oh. now it's more like rounded a little bit, a little bit. Do you notice anything? I don't know. Um, but yeah, also my skin on my body, my arms, my hands, my legs are smoother, for sure. And it makes it easier to wear makeup, which is lovely, because I have less stubble. And um, I don't know, it's been easier to shave. And, um, yeah, it's just, it makes it easier to wear makeup. God, smoother skin makes it so much easier to wear makeup. And it's lovely. Like, I'm applying makeup, and I'm like, ooh, this is so much easier. Why? 
smooth skin. So, um, yes, lower body hair growth. I talked about that before, like on my arms, on my face, on my, under my arms and on my legs, definitely slower and thinner body hair, slight figure change. Honestly, not that much. Mostly my butt is a little, a little bigger, which is always lovely. And um, really only little changes in, in body shape not really that significant, like not enough for anyone watching to notice, so I'm not really going to show you my body, but I have noticed my, my, my figure is slightly more feminine. Maybe in my next hormone update video, I'll show you my figure and see if you guys can judge for yourself. Shut up, dogs. I hope you can't hear them. Shut up. They're so loud. Um, anyway, um, okay, baby hairs on my head. I don't know if you can notice, but baby hairs, like baby hairs are starting to grow on my hair, uh, on my head, like where they didn't really grow before. See these hairs? They're really like thin, really curly. Those are baby hairs that were never there before. And it's changing the shape of my, my like hairline. It's really nice. See those baby hairs? Yeah, those have been growing in. And it's really nice because it gives, it's just more feminine. I see lots of girls with baby hairs. I'm like, I want baby hairs, but now I kind of have them. Um, and also down here, but I'm not really going to show you down there because it's haggard. Anyway, um, yeah, I, there, I, I'm going to make like a part two of this video because I'm really afraid that my camera is going to stop or my webcam is going to stop recording because I have that like horrible, irrational fear because I like, I don't want this video to be deleted, and I don't want to record it again. So, honestly, I'm going to make a part two video, like, right now. So go click on part two, which will be, like, down below. So, yeah, see you then.